What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Now that's a mouthful right there. Now, in our last episode, I think I should apologize for a little bit of a something that may have bothered you, and that is the constant breathing noises and all that stuff. Yeah, I had my, uh, my microphone a little too close to my mouth right here. It's because I'm wearing a headset, so I do apologize for that. But yes, in our last episode, we just took a small tour of Viridian City, was it on purpose? Yes, it was, because technically speaking, I'm kind of doing a little bit of a run right here. And, well, now it is time for us to go straight to Viridian Forest and take care of a little bit of business right there. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is so, you know, off screen I can capture more Pokemon, train my Pokemon and all that crud, that'd be fun. Now, let's see. Route 2, Viridian City to Pewter City. Alright, seems easy. Now, look at that. The, the, the bush that we can't go through. Can't do anything right now, but eventually it's only going to be one Pokemon and one Pokemon only that will be able to cut that, which will be actually, well, it's going to be very convenient in the long run right here. And look at that, there's an Oddish waiting for us right there, and well, hold on just a sec. Pikachu's tail's not wagging, so yeah, nothing. Okay, so let's see, let's talk to this girl. If your Pokemon uses a move that's the same type of it as itself, the move's power will get a boost. And that kind of seems a little obvious right there. Now, she is sitting, and I'm going to try and talk to her right here. Are you going to the Viridian Forest? It's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. Okay. And there's nothing in there. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go straight to the Viridian Forest. And as you can see, just like everything, you know, you would imagine, it's big, it's green, and there's a lot of uh, bug catchers right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I came here with some friends to catch some bug type Pokemon. My pals are all itching to, for some Pokemon battles. Now, I do see a Pikachu right there. I'm going to capture it because they're pretty rare right here. Now, Pokemon that are rare in this place is... Oh, shit, I got to... Okay, so before we do anything, choose a berry from your bag and use it. So, if you guys don't know, in the last episode I managed to get a few berries, so I'm going to be using this berry. And these are going to actually enable us to capture a Pokemon real easily right here. So, throw that little bastard and... Oh, yeah, this Pokemon... This Pikachu is a little, uh... Yeah. He's a little stubborn. Come on. And... There we go. We caught ourselves our second Pikachu. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to be using them on my team or anything. It's just that I... <laughs> kind of need uh, an extra Pokemon right there. Look at that. Thrasher grows to level 5. Everybody else is great gaining levels too, which is pretty cool. And, well, he has been added to the party. But I already have a male Pikachu right here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to take out a few Pokemon. And, yeah, I'm just going to put them in my Pokemon, my Pokemon box right here. So let's go right ahead and put... Let's see, level 7. I, I think I'll keep him. And Spiro, I'm going to remove from party. I've always been I've always been a fan of Pidgey instead of Spiro. I don't know why. And then, uh, well, let's see, remove this from the party. And let's go with this Pikachu, remove from party. Eventually, we're going to just send him for Pokemon, uh, for, uh, for candies right here, which we'll eventually get to uh, later on in this walkthrough. As you can see, there are multiple Caterpies, which, you know, I'll, I'll try and capture later on. But before we do anything, look at this. Hey! Do you have a big Pikachu? Yes, I do. In more ways than one. So here we go, another battle. This time it's going to be against Last Joanna. Joanna Man. Or Joanna. And she, of course, will be coming out with her Rattata. So let's go right ahead and go with Sparky. As you probably already know, in the last episode, we learned a new move, which is Double Kick. And that's going to be easy for us to just beat this guy right here. Look at that. Fighting type move. Destroys him. How do you like me now? Super effective. One hit. KO. And yes, we got experience points. And we defeated Joanna. Look at that. Oh no, really? Yes. Now, another thing too. We kind of used up a lot of money in our last episode, so... That right there is going to be fun, and look at that, we found ourselves a Bulbasaur, which we will try and capture. Look at this guy. Yes, guys, you can capture all three starter Pokemon in this game right here. And, well, let's see. I'm actually going to try and use a Raspberry right here. 
use this. There we go. And there we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the ball. Damn it. Well, as you probably know, these guys are a little difficult to actually capture just because they are starter Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and try another one right here. And that's right. Try and hit me. There we go. It's going to be nice. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. We got him. So there you go, guys. A Bulbasaur has been caught. And we get a Pinup Berry for our little, uh, you know, for our little trouble right here. And look at that. Pidgey's growing to level 8. So that's good. And look at that. Bulbasaur will be added to the Pokedex right here. So here we have Bulbasaur, the grass and poison type Pokemon, seed Pokemon, 2 feet, 4 inches, 15 pounds, not so even and all that stuff. It can go for days without eating a single morsel, and the bulb on its back, it stores energy. Alrighty, so it will be added to our party, but here's the thing guys, I'm not going to be using this Bulbasaur on my team, because you'll eventually get another Bulbasaur later on, it's just... You gotta capture a lot of Pokemon, and you know, all these Pokemon right here are just tempting to capture. And look at that, we got ourselves five Pokeballs right here. So, I'm gonna be running into a lot of these Pokemon right here, and just capturing them just because, you know, it's best to boost up our, you know, boost up our Pokemon's HP or uh, levels right here. So, look at that. Come on, stay in the ball. And damn, this Pokemon is a little hard to actually capture right now. Level 5, which is good. And there we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the... Oh, damn it. So, it looks like to me I'm going to have to use another berry right here, which, you know... Right now, we don't have a lot of. So, here we go. Get in there. Look at that. If you guys noticed, the circle got green, so that means it's going to be a little easier for us to capture. And... God dang it. All right, there we go. I'm throwing this like a wand and stuff. Two, come on, three, damn it. Okay, so it looks like to me this is the lead Caterpie because we've already used like six Pokeballs at it. And there we go. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in there, stay there, ah, there we go. I'm just asking myself, what does this Caterpie think it is? It, it, it thinks it's a legendary Pokemon. That's what I think it think it, it, it is. So there we go. We got ourselves a new teammate. And I'm probably going to keep this guy on my team for right now. As you can see, we got Caterpie. One feet, six pounds. Look at that. If you touch the feeler on the top of its head, it will release a horrible stink to protect itself. Definitely not going to do that. Hell no. Okay, so there are a lot of Pokemon right here, but right now, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to actually try and battle some people. Oh, you have a partner Pokemon? Let me get a better look. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got we are challenged by Bugcatcher Brian, and yes, he'll be coming out with his Weedle right here. And right now, it's only the Pikachu show. Look at this. That's right. Pikachu looking like a pimp in HD. Let's get it. Thundershock. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. And, uh, well, Weedle, just like that, defeated. Guess my Pokemon's get, getting a little strong, but remember, in the next, like, the next city holds the Pewter City Gym. We're gonna be battling a very, very strong rock type gym leader, and, well, what we're gonna do right now is, well, I guess capture this guy. Now, if you guys see a red swirl on top of it, like you did right here, it usually means that this Oddish or, you know, whatever Pokemon you're going to encounter is a little bit bigger than normal. So what I'm going to do right here is capture them. And usually they they might have a special move. I could be wrong. Comment down below. And look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm capturing Pokemon left and right right here. And everybody's gaining levels. Look at that. You see, guys? This is, this is how you train your Pokemon. By capturing... Pokemon and a load of them and look at that Thrasher growing levels of course Bulbasaur growing more levels right here too and it learned Vine Whip which is good and well that's a good Pokemon it's above 
it's above average and all that stuff too. So let's go right ahead and take uh, take a look at what else we can actually find. Let's see. Up. Oh, there's a Pokeball right there. So grabbing this, found ourselves a tiny mushroom, which you can actually sell for some pretty good money right there. And well, at least we know where the Pokemon are. Now, if you see a blue swirl on these Caterpies, usually means it's tiny. Very, 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 very tiny. And right now, these Pokemon are coming out of nowhere. They're like coming out of the woodwork, I should say. And, well, there is a big Pidgey right there. But I'm going to be grabbing this item right here first. Grabbing this, we found ourselves an antidote. Good for the uh, poison and all that stuff. And let's see. Trainer tips. For poison, use antidote. For paralysis, use a, para, uh, per, a paralyze heal. Can't even say that. Get them at the Pokemarts, which I already did. And that's where most of my money went. And, well, let's see. There's a lot of Pokemon coming out right now, and do not want to mess with them. And I see a Pikachu, but this guy sees me. So let's see what he has to say. Hey, you have Pokemon, right? Come on, let's battle him. Okay, all right. Homeboy wants to battle. We're going to be battling right here. So here we go, going up against Bugcatcher Rick. And here he comes out with his favorite Pokemon, Caterpie. Well, let's get this Pikachu. Of course, I already got a full team right here, so it's not going to be an issue. So let's go, Thundershock. Let's get it. Thundershock right here for the win. Suck it, Caterpie. Yeah, buddy. Now, may I remind you guys that I'm actually standing up while recording this whole thing. Trust me, guys. If you guys haven't caught my Instagram, the picture of how I'm doing this, it's, yeah, it's pretty wild. First time I'm ever standing up for anything uh, Pokemon walkthrough related. And, well, there's a Pikachu right there, and it looks like a female, so I'm going to try and capture this one. Look at this. It's a female Pikachu. So, let's get it. Let's try and capture this Pokemon right here. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in the bowl. We got her. Okay. So we were hoping for a female Pikachu in the beginning. But it looks like we got her right here. And look at that, my Pokemon are growing levels. And Pidgey's learning Mirror Move early. Bulbasaur, of course, growing levels. And Caterpie, growing levels too. So look at that. We got ourselves a female Pikachu. And, well, let's see. I might as well take out some Pokemon from my party because, yeah, not all of these Pokemon are going to just be here by the time this game is done. So, let's see. We're going to be sorting this whole thing out right here. Let's go ahead and sort, and sort them by specific. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I guess it's by the order that we caught them in. And let's see. Okay, so here's the party Pokemon. I will be taking out Bulbasaur right here and oddish now remember we're gonna get another bulbasaur later on guys so trust me when i say this it's okay we're gonna be using another bulbasaur and maybe just you know include a few other pokemon in the long run right here and this pikachu let's see well i already know it's moo so let's go ahead and check its summary right here it's an adamant ma adamant nature and well let's see it's a large pokemon and here we have another one. Huh. Oh yeah. Well, that's my original Pokemon right there. So let's just continue on right here. It really doesn't matter, guys. So let's see. Po Pokemon are just gonna be coming out of the world, work, like I said. And well, there's a Pokeball right here. Eventually, I'm gonna be going off screen to capture a lot of these Pokemon just to level up my my Pokemon right here, and quite possibly, you know, find the right combination of teams. Now, let's talk to this guy. I was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon, and I ran out of them. That's why you could never have many or too many Pokeballs. Now, I'm going to run away from here because this Pidgey's looking at me with some uh, deadly eyes. And, yeah, he's going to be following me from where I'm going. So, let's see. Go right here. Trainer tips. Check your uh, Joy-Con when it's not attached to your system. And you can play with your partner, which is true. And let's see, we're going to be battling another person, so let's go right ahead. Hey, do you know if Bulbasaur appear in this forest? Yes, they do. I just caught one. It almost leveled up to like level 10 right here. And so here we go. You are challenged by last Brittany. And she will be coming out with her Nidoran female. 
Now the Pokemon I probably should have captured. So, let's go right ahead and do it again. So let's see. Thundershock. Let's get this. Look at that. So yes, Pikachu is kicking ass, but again, we're going to be facing a Rock-type Gym Leader by the next gym, and, you know, this is the reason why I'm going to have to, like, you know, switch out Pokemon here and there and all that stuff. So there we go, getting $80 of Poke Money, and, uh, well, let us move on right here. Now, is there anything else? Actually, let's go ahead and take a, you know, let's try out that shake thing. So I just shaked it, and Sparky looks intrigued by your hat. So let's go ahead and play. Where are you? Where, where's, where's the hand? Um, right here? Okay, I'm trying to do it again. How do we do it? There we go. Okay. Um, how about this? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to do it off screen right here. Yeah, because I really don't get it. <laughs> okay, so let's move on right here. Of course, there's going to be more trainers to fight and all that stuff. And there is a Pokeball waiting for us right there. And look at that. We found ourselves a potion. Now, let's see what else we could actually find right here. Uh, nothing else. Nothing right. And yes, there are some Metapods blocking the way right here. So I'm just going to go the long way. <laughs> wow. They really did an improvement on trying to get this, like, the aesthetics of Viridian Forest right. And, well, look at that. Another trainer and... Yo, you can't punk out on the battle if you're a real Pokemon trainer. You don't say. So here we go, another Pokemon battle. And yes, we're facing Bugcatcher Doug and Homeboy here. We'll be coming out with a Kakuna. Easy pickings. Alrighty, so... Shouldn't be an issue for Sparky right here, so let's go get this Thundershock right here. Let's get it. Look at that. And, uh, well, Kakuna, of course, its uh, defense is pretty high right there. And it's going to continue doing that. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go again. Thundershock. Okay. And just like that. Kakuna defeated. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. Pokemon are just kicking ass right now. He's like, huh? I've got no other Pokemon to battle with. Well, kind of sucks for you, buddy. It really does. Okay, so let's move on right here. And, wow, of course we're going to be running into a Pokemon we can't see. And it happens to be a Weedle, which, well, let's go right ahead. It's excellent. That's right, I'm throwing out the Usain Bolt sign right there. And that's right. First, first throw, first capture right here. Got ourselves a Weedle. That's awesome. Look at that, it's a pretty good Pokemon, and... Thrasher grows to level 8, which is great. That kind of rhymed. <laughs> Alrighty, so here it is. Weedle has been added to the Pokedex. As you can see, the Hairy Bug Pokemon, 1 foot, 7 pounds of pure, you know, Weedle muscle. Of, uh, and right here it says, beware of its sharp stinger on its head. It hides in, it hides in grass and bushes where it, eat, it eats leaves. You don't say. Whatever. Okay. So that is that. And now that we have it on a, on a Pokedex, we can actually see which Weedle is uh, big or small and all that crud. And, uh, well, we're not going to be capturing any more until the off-screen stuff. And, well, these guys are popping out. Let's go right ahead and battle this girl right here. Do you want to know the trick for throwing a Pokeball well? Maybe. Do you just throw the, the Wii thing on there? I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, so here we are, taking on last Jocelyn, and she will be coming out with one Pokemon. Big mistake. It's a Pidgey. And here we go, Pikachu. You already know what to do. Let's go ahead and press that button. Let's get it, Thundershock. Yeah, buddy. Thundershock takes it, and there we go. <laughs> well, that was easy. So, Jocelyn, it was like your battle was right on target. And I guess every single one of these guys only throw in 80 bucks, but we got three Pokeballs out of it, which is good. So let's see. Throwing Pokeball to hit the center, you know, the center of, uh, okay, wait, wait, the center of those two rings, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. And yes, we got a whole bunch of Pokemon just blocking our way right here. And, well, we're going to be moving on forward right here. 
Now, one thing about this game that really caught my eye was the fact that, you know, it actually took its, uh, its theme from Pokemon Go, the phone game and all that stuff. And I guess a lot of people had an issue with the whole fact that, you know, this is how you grow levels. Because we're all so used to, uh, oh crud, <laughs> we're all so used to just capturing our specific team and not capturing any other Pokemon. But then when Pokemon X and Y came out and, you know, catching made it a little bit more of a, I guess it gave it more of an incentive to actually, what was it called, uh, to, you know, to, to, or to raise Pokemon and all that stuff, you know, it was a big thing right there, and, well, Gonna throw this thing, look at that. Come on, stay in that ball. And there we go, caught it. We already caught it. I don't know which one I'm gonna call Aaliyah, but I'm gonna use the strongest one. So there we go. All the Pokemon are growing levels, which is great. Awesome, and yes, she has been added to our party right there. So, let us move on. So like I was saying, guys, yeah, Ever since X and Y came out and, you know, made catching Pokemon more of an incentive rather than a chore, you know, it, I guess this, I guess you could say that, you know, Pokemon Go made, you know, took it from that to, to this, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling around. So, as you can see right here, trainer tips, visit Professor Oak at his research lab to have him check out your progress and your Pokedex. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. He's very, very judgmental. And, well... Let's see. I could capture another Pikachu. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to capture another Pikachu. Really don't care. Um, let's see. There is another thing that, that you guys should know about this this specific game. It's Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. You guys should know that only Kanto Pokemon are allowed to be captured here. Now, I get that right now as I'm speaking... I think we've gone up to Generation 5 in Pokemon Go. Any and all Pokemon that you've captured, you know, from Pokemon uh, Go, you know, from Generations 2 and on, you won't be able to get. There are some exceptions, which is the Alolan Pokemon, which you will actually find right here. And you'll be able to actually, like, trade for them. So, I will show you guys where you can actually find those guys right here, too. And look at that. Caught ourselves yet another Pikachu. I guess we're going to be called the Pikachu Trainer right here. And that was my computer. And look at that. All my Pokemon are growing levels again. And I think Caterpie's going to evolve right here. I think it is. Yeah, level 7. Yeah. First evolution ever right here. Might as well go to one of these worm Pokemon. So look at this. It's pretty awesome how it looks all galactic and all that stuff. Look at that. That's right, Caterpie Digivolve to Metapod. Now, believe it or not, if your Pokemon evolves, it doesn't count as a Pokemon you've actually captured. It's just a log, which is hilarious. So here it is, Metapod. And, well, as you can see right there on the right-hand corner, it is not a Pokemon you actually caught. So it is a Bug-type Pokemon. Two feet, four inches, 21 pounds. And it hardens its shell to protect itself. However, a large impact may cause it to pop out of its shell, which kind of sucks. It really does. And it's learning a new move, which is Harden right here. Pretty good. Very, very good. All in HD. And yes, we got... Well, this is our second Pikachu that we caught in a row. I believe if you get combinations on capturing these specific Pokemon, I think that will lead to shiny Pokemon. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So here it is. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Why the rush? I don't know. Probably because I want to beat you. Probably because I just don't want to battle anybody. I don't know. So here we are. Bug catcher Sammy would like to battle and he will be coming out with his Metapod right here. I ironic how we just evolved the Metapod right here. So let's go right ahead and use Sparky. Let's go with a Thundershock and just destroy him. That's right. Thundershock. Nearly beats this Metapod. First paralysis ever. And yes, it's going to be using its tackle. So for once, they're actually listening to the, the consumer right there. Have Metapod use its tackle attack, which is good. So here we go. Thundershock. Take it away. That's right. And there we go. Sparky winning. And Pidgey grows to level 10. <laughs> Look at that. He's like, I give. You're good at this. That's right, and we're getting Pokeballs. Lots and lots of Pokeballs right there. 
Okay, so what do you have to say, homeboy? Sometimes there's something on the ground, even if you can't see it. If, you're po if you've got a Pokemon with you, it may help you find things like that. Which is true. I mean, take a look at Pikachu's uh, tail. And, well, I'm not going to stay here very long. So what does this have to say? Leaving Viridian Forest, Pewter City ahead. Let's get the heck out of here. Alrighty, so here we are in the exit. Now let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. We'll see what he has to say. Have you noticed a have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? They can be chopped down with a secret technique called chop down right here. Really? You don't have cut anymore, huh? Let's see what this guy has to say. Many Pokemon live in uh, only forests and caves. You need the to be persistent and look everywhere to get different uh, these or to get different species. Cannot read today or tonight. Yeah, it's tonight. It is the higher its combat power is, I hear CP is a value made up of various stats and things combined. You don't say. Alrighty. So we're now exiting the Viridian Forest, and here we are in route number two. And of course, the Pokemon are just gonna keep on popping. <laughs> I will be capturing all of you guys very, very soon. But right now, I gotta get to I gotta get to Pewter City. So here it is, guys. We are in Pewter City, and before we before we do anything, this guy right here, Trace, he's like, "Hey, nice." I was hoping we'd run into each other. Eh, well, at least you're not as annoying as Barry. You know, there's a Pokemon gym up this way, right, Draven? You can battle against gym leader there, and he's seriously strong. If you want to get stronger, you definitely got to try him on. Strong. If you want to get stronger, you definitely got to try him on. Oh, Pikachu's like, whoa. <laughs> Geez, Sparky, you're ready to, uh, for a good battle too, huh? Who wouldn't be? All right then, you're making me want to cheer you guys on too, so take these. And of course, he will be giving us five potions. You see, he's not really our rival. He's more of our buddy and all that stuff. Yeah, good old buddy. You know, our rival wouldn't do that for us. And well, I bought some for you uh, with prize money I've been earning in all my battles. Beat that, uh, beat that gym leader, Draven. <laughs> Look at that. Beat that gym leader, Draven. And you can really, you can really uh, call yourself a true trainer. Look at that, guys, on the screen. Gym leader, Draven. Just to take away the comment, all that stuff. Give it your best. You got it, buddy. Okay, so that is pretty much it right now, guys. Um, as I'm currently recording this, it's August 31st. The first two episodes will be coming out tomorrow, September 1st, so... I hope you guys enjoy it, especially with the surprise here. But every Tuesday and Thursday, you'll get two episodes. And then, you know, you'll get a random episode here and there just in case and all that stuff. But anywho, thank you guys for watching. Off screen, I will be capturing some more Pokemon to level up the Pokemon team that I have. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.